So you're looking for some brand new pedals for your simulator, but you're not sure whether you should go with a standard set of pedals like these, or if you should set yourself up with something that's inverted. So in this video, we're gonna actually talk about the differences between you going with an inverted setup versus the standard setup, and why one might be better for you than the other. So let's go ahead and dig into it. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Lawrence with Sim Coaches, and this is gonna be cool because we've been working on our inverted mount for quite a long time. It's been about, I don't know, a year and a half. Uh, that we've been working on this thing. And it took us a long time really to uh, even get to the stage that we're at, really for a couple reasons. We have a ton of projects that we're working on here in the shop, so that's taken a lot of time uh, and effort away from doing some of the other projects. But number two, we've designed this thing actually uh, a couple different ways, and the ways that we did it in the past didn't actually work. They gave a whole lot of flex, or they moved a whole lot, um, and they just didn't work the way that we intended to or gave you guys the amount of adjustment that we wanted to. Hey guys, it's Lawrence. I wanna take a quick break from the video to tell you that if you have not swapped over to a good set of pedals on your simulator yet, you're leaving time out there on the track. You guys are wondering how drivers are actually able to be so fast when they're on the simulator. It's not rocket science. They're driving on good equipment. When you drive on good equipment, you can actually feel the limit of the tires. When you're coming into the braking zone, you know where lockup is going to be. When you're exiting the, the, the corner and you're getting on the throttle, you can feel when you're going to spin those tires. Guys, this isn't rocket science. It's not difficult. All it is is just simply getting you over to a better set of equipment. Something that's better and feels more realistic to what you're actually used to when you go out there and you're driving your car. So guys, if this interests you, send me a text to my cell phone right now. It's 702-246-2295. It'll hit me right here on my personal phone and we'll figure out how we can actually get you guys set up to being faster out there on the track, all right? So shoot me a text and we'll make this happen. We'll get you faster out there on the track. All right, let's get back to the video. This still right here is not a production model of our inverted mount. This is still a, uh, a tester version, but what I want to show you guys where we're at um, because I'm pretty sure this is the design that we're going for. This is what we're going to uh, stick with and um, yeah, we're going to lock this thing down and finish machining all the parts. Now, with your pedals, you really do have two different options that you can choose from. You have the standard sets um, that are floor mounted. This is very common because most cockpits, um, it's just really easy to, to mount a floor uh, mounted set of pedals onto to any cockpit that's out there on, on the market right now. It doesn't take a whole lot uh, of effort to mount a floor mounted set of pedals to a cockpit. So in terms of ease and use, these are really nice. Floor mounted are great. And they really get us out there on the track running without all the extra things that it takes us to do it with uh, the inverted pedals. Now, the biggest difference that you have between the standard and the inverted is the amount of leverage that you actually have when you're applying uh, pressure on the pedal. These pedals that I have on the, uh, the mount actually right now don't have any hydraulics on them, so they just uh, freely swing. But if when you look at this, here's a hydraulic pedal here. If this were actually mounted mounted on there um, and you were to press it with your foot, if you had it sitting this way, when you put your foot on the inverted mount, you are actually going to be pressing on the pedal on the furthest point from the pivot point. <clears throat> so because of this, with the inverted pedals, you actually have a crap ton more leverage. So it's easier for you to actually press the brakes or any of the other pedals when they're inverted versus when they are um, standard like these ones. You know, when they're standard, sometimes your foot doesn't reach all the way to the top of the pedal. Sometimes it's a little bit further down the pad. Now, the further down the, your foot is on this pad, the less leverage you have. So you can see really easily, if you have a standard set of pedals, they're, naturally they're going to be stiffer. It's gonna feel stiffer, and it's gonna require a little bit more leg muscle out of you to press down on the pedals. The moment that you invert them, like this set here, you completely change the point of leverage. And you make it to where now your toes are actually on the tip of that lever arm, or of the arm of the the pedal and you when you press on it you just have so much since you have so much more leverage you actually can compress the pedal with less um, pressure on your end now I'll tell you guys one of the biggest benefits that we're finding out with hydraulic pedals are for gentlemen that have are for gentlemen that have like feet problems maybe your feet uh, hurt you you have um, diabetic neuropathy or, or um, some of these different things that, that really affect um, how your feet feel if you are a driver that have feet issues, maybe um, when you put pressure on the pedals, it really hurts underneath your foot, then you swapping over to an inverted set, you actually will find a lot of benefits because when you have your foot down here on the pedal, because you have so much more leverage, you don't have to press with your foot as hard. I can't tell you how many drivers we have in our sim coaches community that actually have inverted pedals. Now they've had to figure out their own inverted bounce and, and whatnot. There's other ones on the market because we don't have our own OEM one out yet. But for those guys that do have their inverted pedals, I'd, I'd say probably 70% of them have went uh, over to inverted because they have some kind of foot um, problem or, or 
or it hurts their feet when they press on the pedal. So by swapping over to inverted, they just really relieve that pressure, relieve that pain that they get when they're racing and just makes sim racing just so much more enjoyable. Now here's what's pretty cool about the way that we've uh, engineered our inverted mount. Pedals and how pedals are, are mounted, this is all such preference stuff. You know, some drivers like everything floor mounted where there's other drivers that absolutely cannot drive a car if their pedals are floor mounted. So because we know the personalities and, and, and what drivers are actually looking for. We've made um, this system really easy. You can swap it out. Um, and we've kind of made the, the plates really interchangeable. So kind of to go over what it is that we have here to talk you guys through what we've done. If you have one of our standard um, pedal sets that's at within just the last three months, then your base plate that you got with that standard set actually becomes the top plate on the inverted set. So <clears throat> if you've just gotten your uh, Simcoe just pedals within the last three months, then your pedal plate is actually 100% um, compatible with the inverted mount. You've already got a quarter of the mount sitting on your simulator right there. Now, the bottom plate's the one actually that we change. When you look at the bottom plate, you'll see that it doesn't have all of the small tiny holes drilled on it. There's only the small tiny holes um, over by the throttle pedal, and this is intentional. We do this so that you can actually mount your throttle pedal as a floor mounted pedal if you want, or if you wanna mount it as an inverted pedal, you have that option as well. So we'll put, we have just a little shorty um, heel stop that we put over the throttle pedal so you still have the heel stop there in case you wanna um, standard mount your, your throttle pedal. This just gives you guys just the adjustment that whatever preference and how you enjoy your pedals, um, whether you want your throttle pedal to be floor mounted, you want to be inverted, you want all your pedals to be inverted, whatever it is, we just give you guys the ability to do it. Dude, racing, a lot of this stuff just comes down to feel. And by you just being able to feel the things um, the way that you're used to feeling them, the way that like your muscle memory unlocks that feeling, the closer that we can actually give this to you, then the faster you're gonna be, it's just natural. When you start to uh, reach the limits of, of what you know a tire feels like when you're at the limit, then you'll be way more comfortable actually trying to reach that limit and you're gonna go faster because you're gonna know where it's at. So so our entire goal, what we try to do here with you guys, is we just try to give you all the tools that you need so you can adjust and set this stuff up for you. All of us enjoy different things. There's so many, my gosh, there's probably not one person in our community that has their pedals set up the same exact way. Everybody has it set up different. There's guys that are, just, are combining hard springs and soft springs, some guys that are all hard, some guys that are all soft. And there's even guys that are even all soft and they still say all soft is not soft enough. Then there's guys that are on all soft and they jai on it and they say that's too soft. So all of this stuff is totally just geared towards whatever your preference is. And the best thing that we can do here is we can give you guys just the tools and the adjustment so that you can actually adjust these things and get within the range that you're looking for for you. Because really, I mean, if we made these pedals for us in the way that we liked it, then man, it would be a completely different product, right? So we have to actually set all of this stuff up so we can kind of just umbrella all of the different ways that you can set these things up, the different cockpits that these things can be mounted on. Um, we have to put all of this stuff and put a lot of thought into it when we're making these things. Now, as I mentioned to you, this is one of our prototype ones. This is just the mount that we uh, basically put to uh, to test it, make sure everything bolts together and, and uh, you know, make changes or see if we had to make changes uh, to any of the design. Now, this design for the most part is, is all locked down. When you're looking at this mount sitting in front of me though, you will see these black cornered pieces that are tying all these extrusion uh, bars together. These are just 3D printed uh, mounts and we just 3D printed these for now so that we can actually uh, confirm that they work. We can confirm that they will tie all the braces together. It'll tie um, everything the way that it needs to. And so that was the purpose for 3D printing it, was really just confirming that everything is proper before we put it out there on the machine. Because I'll tell you guys, here's the problem with machining. The problem with machining is it takes an extremely long time to set up the machine for the job. It's a lot about an hour and a half, two hours to set the machine up. So if we set the machine up to do these things, we machine them, and then we get the product off the machine and we find out the product is incorrect, it's wrong, then we actually wasted so much time to make a wrong product because of how much time it takes you to set the machine up, how much time you have to now imagine, okay? If you just set the machine up for the job, once the job is complete, now you have to set the machine up for another job. So you have another two hours again. So if you just tore down the machine and then nothing works, Dude, you just, uh, you're just eating into all of your time and it makes all of this stuff extremely expensive because machine time just adds up. So when you're looking at this mount that I'm showing you guys right now and you see some of the pieces that you see, it's because it's a prototype piece and I'm showing you guys our pre-production um, models so that you can kind of see what it is that we're working on here in the building. Now, one of the first uh, different designs actually that we were messing with 
all had to do with these extrusion bars here. Um, we tried actually, we have designs where this is uh, billet. These are billet arms. The problem with that was actually made this extremely expensive. It made it, it the, uh, the, the inverted pedal mount really expensive and for the most part really out of the price range of just most sim racers so to try to actually take the cost down bring the cost down we saw that actually our best choice would be to put extrusion on each one of the corners um, of the mount now this is really cool because what this actually allows us to do is we have our t-nuts that are inside the slots and this gives you a huge amount of adjustment so if i turn this to the side right now you can see the angle that these um, pedals are at if you want to add more pedal or or more uh, angle, then you just loosen these bolts and then drop the back of the plate down. If you wanna take some angle out of it, loosen the bolts, pull the top of the plate up. I mean, the, you really have um, a ton of adjustment. Besides the adjustment that you have in the plate and the angle that you can add in the plate, then you also have all the adjustment that you would normally have inside the pedal angle as well. So you really are going to be able to hit whatever it is that you want your pedal to feel like, your pedal box, you can actually make it uh, you replicate your car that you have back over there sitting in your garage. Now, a big focus that we had um, and one of the things that was really holding us up with our inverted pedal mount was it was extremely important that this thing did not have any movement, any give. Now, right now, I don't have all the bolts on. I don't have uh, actually all the T-nuts in because um, we were getting ready to actually tear it down, but then I decided to take a video on it. Um, so right now, it's not in its sturdiest form just because we don't have all the bolts um, inside of all these holes. But with all the bolts inside this mounted, tightened all the way up, it's extremely rigid. You press down on these hydraulic pedals as hard as you can and the thing doesn't move. It's it stays in its place, it stays underneath your feet, and you don't have something that's moving underneath your feet, um, changing the consistency. You know, a lot of drivers actually, um, they wanna upgrade their pedals before they upgrade their cockpit, and that's a big mistake. Because if your cockpit is not um, sturdy enough, it's not stout enough to have pedals that require a lot more force than like, let's just say, um, the Logitech or the Thrustmaster pedals, then what happens is you get a lot of bending inside of your pedal plate, your uh, pedal plate, and then this takes away from your consistency. Because when you press on the pedal, Pedal, now the plate that the pedals are sitting on starts to bend and then the pedals are moving away from you. And so um, making sure that when we made our inverted mount, uh, making it stiff, making it stout, making sure that there was no flex, there was no play. This was literally um, the number one point that we wanted to make sure that we checked off of our list, was making sure that it was stout, it would not move at all when you guys were pressing the pedals. So this is the design. Um, we basically locked it down with this. The last piece that we have um, to finish before we can actually start shipping these out to you guys are just these corners, all these black corners that you see. Uh, we gotta get these out there on the machine, CNC them, uh, and get them ready then to be uh, on the mount. Now, one last thing before I actually close this off, these mounts are badass, they're really cool. They're gonna come in two color options as well. You can get this in black or you can get this in silver. Um, basically what we'll swap out is the extrusion itself on the corners. We can either get them silver like you see here um, or we have extrusion uh, just over there that's black as well. So the two different colorways we'll have it offered and the black's probably gonna look super sweet um, next to the billet aluminum finish next to it. It's probably gonna look awesome. So I'm excited, man. These inverted mounts are really cool. You guys have been asking us for the better part of a year and a half to come out with something like this. We've had the inverted pedals, um, but we didn't have an OEM inverted mount. So this is cool. This is exciting. This is ex everything that you guys have been asking us for. Um, and we really checked the boxes on every single box that we had open. So with that, I'm extremely to show you guys our inverted pedal box. We're gonna get this thing ready to be shipped in the next couple weeks. So stay, make sure that if you need one of these, you're just on our website, you're, uh, you're looking over it. Uh, and the second that it goes on, uh, make sure that you grab yours. From the beginning, from the start, we're only gonna have five of these available um, just because that's all the, uh, the base plates that we've actually machined uh, already. We only have five of them uh, for the first batch and then we'll have to machine more and we'll get more going. But if you need it and you need it urgently, um, there's only five. So uh, once these actually go live, we'll let you guys know so that you can get these on your cockpit as well. With that, I'm gonna close this video off. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day, man. So enjoy yourself, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.